Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today, not so away to Mansfield in the Nottinghamshire Derby. Yay. Notts come into this game top of the league by three points ahead of Exeter. Mansfield are eighth. Notts have won their last six league games and I think they've won beaten in the last nine league games. It's probably our best chance to beat Mansfield in quite a while because, you know, I'm sick of losing to them. I can't take another loss to Mansfield. It's just, I can't. It's not possible. So, yeah, best chance in beating them in a while. You know, we've got the manager this time. We've got the squad capable. Let's do it. Come on, Knox, please. I can't, I can't bear to taste defeat again against Mansfield. You know, I'll take a point, to be honest. I think... You know, people complain about that, but you just, in, a, in a local derby, you just don't want to lose. You just don't want to lose it. So, yeah, come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Right, so we're in the ground very, very early to avoid the traffic. The team news is out. Uh, two tools back in at right back. Shola is on the bench. What? Ball instead up top, isn't it? Yeah. Brisley back in at centre back. Alessandro on the wing. No hawk vision to start in the start eleven. It's Alessandro and Gunn on the wing. Stellan Paul up front. Ami Abi's back on the bench. Come on, Knox. Well, we don't actually. We, we reckon it might be. It, like, it is a one o'clock kick off. We thought it might be delayed because the Knox coach arrived late, but it is now a one. It is a one o'clock kick off. Yeah. Got your eight off empty like normal. Yeah. We, we've all, we've almost sold out this section. There's a few empty seats behind it. But it's absolutely packed in the one in the way. Come on, Knox. Oh, 
bastard. Yeah. But it's half an hour gone, it's still nil-nil. The uh, Mountsville players just gone down, so it's time for a drinks break. Yeah, Kane Emmons has missed three absolute sitters. So it's a very long ball orientated game at the minute, it's something perfect for showing but yeah, we're not really playing much in not too tough at the minute, it's kind of hoof and then uh, don't play in, don't don't play passing football in the final third, which is kind of our style of play. But yeah, it's been it's been it's been even. Yeah, still nil nil. It's almost half time, it's still nil nil. Stead has just been sort of sitting. It was Stead or Alessandro, I can't pick out which one it was. He should have scored, we should be. We just got a free kick, I do believe. After all half, Stag's players going down like sacks of, sacks of spuds and said back to having his shirt ripped off all game. But yeah, it's still nil nil. Both teams have had chances, it's none of us, none of us have took them yet. So yeah. So it's half time, it's Mansfield nil, Knox nil. We've been, I'd like to say we've been better in the fight, we've been the better passing in the final third as the half's got on, but yeah, not, not so struggling to get Jonathan Ford in the game. Uh, Stead, Stead or Alessandro, I still don't know, I think it was Stead, he had a good chance. Kane Evans could have had two or three by now, it's, it's really not been a great game for, for goals at the minute, hence why it's still nil nil. Yeah, but should be goals in the game. Ken em Kate Emmins should have scored for Stokes. John Stairs should have scored for Knox. Yeah. So the minute, it really has, it's not been a great night in the Let's hope yeah, so things, um, things improve in the second half. Here we go again. Stead could have got it in. Yeah. How are we not level? I don't know. Every single time. Every time I get to I'm sick of it. Obviously, I'm, 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 I'm trying not to put the ball here. Every time, every single time, it's not so. I'm sick of it. Every single time. Every time. Don't matter what, every time. And we're on top of the league, we're bottom of the league. Don't matter, we're always shit against not so. It won't change. I don't think it ever will change. This wreck today, I'm sick of it. Every decision must have gone on so right. I'm not using nice excuse because we've played absolutely crap. But we every decision's gone there. Right. We should have just done a penalty. It's so clear it's a penalty. And he hasn't given it. Sums up today. Just shit. I don't think I've ever been so angry at a derby defeat. The two the two that I'm not here for, obviously. The five nil it just it was deflation. It was just like the club was on life the sport machine. The three one we all know what happened afterwards with John Sheridan, so yeah, fair enough, but this is ridiculous. We're top of the league, we've been beaten 3-0 by our local rivals. Shameful. Absolute shameful. It was a shocking, shocking performance today. There's no urgency. We're second to every ball. We've not won one header. Just crap. We've got a free kick, it's about the 93rd, 4th, 8th minute. So yeah, 
Hopefully we might, hopefully we might score a goal. Hey ho! So long to take three kicks. We've scored a goal! Ben. Get in! <laughs> Don't mean fuck all, but we've scored! We are top of the league, say we are top of the league! We are top of the league, say we are top of the league! Just tonight at 2004 5 season when Mount Silver were bringing up and we scored a 90 if we need to finish 3 1. So, yeah, crap performance though. Weft was crap, but so were we. Just standing up and losing. So, it's full, we're outside the sports direct at the minute. It's finished 3 1 Mansfield. Not, not really great performance by Knotts. Really disappointing. Just uh, after the first goal went in, edge dropped, I think. Second one went in virtually game. If, Mans if Mansell got that second goal, it was game over. If not, got it, we were back in the game. But we had chances. We did. Yeah. Still top Forest Green ball on it next to home game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> go on. Yeah. That the bloke who just walked past just said, Forest Green at home next game, ball on it at home as well. So I'm expecting six points on there. Cool away as well in the game after. And we, and we never lose to crew, so it's fine. It's just we never beat Stugs. Oh. Really, really disappointing game. I, I was really, really hopeful coming into today. Really hopeful of at least a point. And we haven't even got a point. We haven't, we haven't got any points. We were shocking today. Absolute shocking. Oh. You get up early to come, don't you? And just, you just punches you right back in the face. Really, really this I feel really dejected after that, you know, I had I had high hopes coming into this game. I think we might actually beat them for once but it wasn't to be. Yeah. It's a shame but we'll go again. Right, we're back from Field Mill. Yeah, it's a short it's a short distance because you know I live in Mansfield sadly, so I've got to cope with all the Flipping backlash of the what went on today. Top of the league, full of confidence, and every single time we play Mansfield, every single time we play Mansfield, we right, we fuck about. And we don't come out for the big game. Every single time, I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. Two nil, five nil, three one, three one again. We didn't start even playing any of our normal game till Terry Orkridge came on in the second half. And I said we should have started Terry Orkridge. Oh my god. And how many times we hooped it up and we haven't got Amiobi on the pitch. Seriously. It's like, come on. Stead. You know, people say, he, oh, Nolan said in the midweek, you know, Stead doesn't, he doesn't deserve all this, um, all this hate, you know. And, you know, he doesn't deserve all the, all, the, all the backlash he gets and everything. But today, John Stead was woeful. He was shocking every time. I know we weren't playing to his strengths, but for goodness sake. Do something. Stay on your feet. For I'm, I'm so annoyed, honestly. You know, I could have a voice crack from this. I'm, I stood up where I sat last time. I just stood up after the third goal. And I'm just like, just give up. I've just given up. You know, every single time against Mount Hill, I've had it off. Every time. We actually had a great chance of winning this game. You know, finally, you know, we've got a decent team. 
a good manager, you know, this is it, and once again we fail. Every single time. I'm sick of it. Jonathan Thor, never in the game at all. Not once was that guy in the game. Even, even when he had the chance to capitalise on Christian Pace's mistake, it was either a refereeing decision or he just wasn't quick enough to the ball. And every single time, we were second to every ball. Every time we were second to the ball, we never won any headers. Shocking. I'm so frustrated, you know, because, you know, they get the bragging rights for a few months and they're going to be up there all every bloody five minutes. You know, all oh, we're massive and everything. You know, but just... Oh, it's so I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed with that performance as well. You know, there was more fighting going on with the cops in the in the away end than there was than the, on the actual pitch. Absolute shocking performance by Knotts. Absolute woof. You know, I've got to admit, great for you kicked by Dickinson. You know, that was a good highlight. I got it on camera as well, but just just woof. You know. Every time, why do we ne why do we never come out for this game? It just makes me annoyed even more, and I and I have to live in Mansfield as well. Oh. Anyway, moving on from the team performance, and we deserve to rightly lose because we were crap. The referee, I think, Darren Drysdale was shocking. You know, it, the tone was set for the first half. Every few minutes, stags were going down like stags players were going down like sacks of spuds. You know, diving over it was horrible to watch. You know, but you just you just knew you just knew like from the first few minutes when what when when one went down and then another went down, you just um and he kept giving the free kicks, you just know it's not gonna be. You know you're just not gonna get any decisions, are you? We denied a clear penalty in the second half through Matt Tutor. And I don't know how I don't know how it's not a penalty. You know, it's a clear trip. How I I don't understand, honestly, I don't understand. How it isn't a penalty. It's so obvious and just, oh, the ref really did me today. Really, if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Yeah, say subscribe if you already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. We're still the bigger club, that's fine. Be safe, be champions, and as always.